and welcome along and welcome back to the old farm countryside. It is a beautiful start to the day. It's 7.03 in the morning uh, and we've moved on to the next day. And, uh, and as we uh, were discussing at the end of last time, we have several jobs to do today. So we're going to have a quick jog over here. So we've got lots of... Uh, We've got lots of work to do with the um, uh, with haymaking, uh, but the thing we're going to get started on uh, this morning uh, is this. So we're going to get the potato planting started. Uh, this is our potato planter filled up. Uh, it is field nine that we need to go and plant. This is worth 10,000. Now field nine is up here. It's not a massive field, um, so it should be pretty good for us. Let's start this up, lift it up. So yeah, quite happy to be using this little Vultra for this. A uh, great little tractor. Uh, half tempted to have it stick around, but we'll be all right. Now it is the weight on the back of this is pushing this up quite a bit, uh, but we should be okay. Uh, so I'm gonna take this down to the field, up to field nine. We're gonna get started planting on this as our first thing today. We'll see how far we get through it. Uh, the shop opens at 9am, so we are going to go, whoa, down to that uh, as soon as that's open uh, and start getting our stuff out to do the mowing and, uh, and start getting on those mowing uh, contracts. Uh, but for now, we're going to take this up, as I said, to field nine and get started. Field nine is up here on the right. Now, I think the entrance to it is down here by the looks of things. Uh, it's set a little bit back from the road. It's got a large cutout from it. Um, and it's not a huge field. Uh, there's, a, there's a reason that this contract is only worth about 10,000. Uh, we've got enough space on it that we can run it with a hired worker if we want to. But uh, we're going to start this off ourselves. Now, looking at this field, the best way to plant it is going to be like this. It's not quite the same direction as the uh, uh, as the actual uh, field has been cultivated. Uh, but this uh, this tractor is certainly capable of handling this job, uh, even if it felt a little bit back heavy getting up here. So we are 50% of the way through our potatoes at this point. We have uh, planted, uh, we've planted nearly half the field, uh, interestingly, uh, which is good news. Uh, really, really pleased uh, sort of progress. Interestingly though, if I have a look at here, we, it says only 28% progress. So I don't quite sure what's going on there. Um, we, I thought we were further along than this. So, uh, yeah, I don't quite know what he's expecting, but uh, we certainly seem to be further along than that. Uh, we're coming up to the point in, uh, in Field 9 where, uh, where it, it's got the number, which normally means that that's where half of the field is. So we're keeping a close eye on this, uh, trying to get it right. Uh, the thing is that if it is a case that this is only a third of the field uh, in this patch, uh, which seems a bit odd. Um, we are going to be in a position where we are going to have to refill our potatoes. That's fine. I was fully expecting that. It is not going to cost us a huge amount of money to do that. Uh, so that is all good. Uh, we've got another hour before the shop opens uh, and before we can get started on those uh, on that hay job uh, that we have sitting there waiting for us. Uh, four hay jobs, in fact. Uh, which we're going to try and do really efficiently. We've got our two tractors back at the farm that are currently being unused. Uh, so my plan is uh, to get Follow Me going uh, quite nicely on there. We should be able to uh, to get those uh, those other tractors uh, behind the tractor that's that's been hired for the job uh, and uh, uh, and do that. I would quite like to get this tractor running on that job as well. And then we can just zip through all of those. Um, our big target for this, of course, 
is to get ourselves in a position uh, where we can buy ourselves a sprayer and get rid of the weeds we have on our field. Um, it's uh, it's quite a big job that we need to do with those at the moment uh, to get rid of them. So we're up to the, the bit where it cuts in. So we're just going to line this up here. Make sure that we can come back and do uh, and do the row all the way along here. And we are 36% done on here. And let's have a look. Are we halfway through this job? We're not. We are only a third of the way through this job. So, uh, yeah, it would seem that two-thirds of this field is sitting at this top end. Uh, which, yeah, does seem a little bit odd for me. I would have expected us to be further along than we are. But that's all fine. Uh, we will reload the potatoes. I would guess around about the 9 a.m. spot. Uh, when the shop opens, it's going to be our best bet for that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep getting the, uh, these potatoes planted. Uh, and we'll see where we are when we either run out or the shop opens. We are down to our last 4% of potatoes. It's 20 to 9. So, uh, yeah, we're going to run out of potatoes before the shop opens. That's fine. Uh, the plan then, I think, is uh, that we're going to run this back to the yard. Get this refilled with another load of potatoes. Uh, we are 52% of the way through our contract. So another load of potatoes on this field. Uh, it's not going to leave a whole huge amount in our cedar when we finish this. So that's not a problem at all. Uh, especially as uh, as we're buying potatoes and putting them in here, not uh, not buying seeds. Uh, right, there we go. We've run out of potatoes. Let's turn this off. Uh, and uh, what is our quickest route back to the farm from here? I think... Yeah, I think it is... Uh, oh, it's a sort of six and one and a half a dozen the other looking at this. I'll just nip between these trees here. I think I'm going to go back the other way. See what it's like. Um, anyway, we are going to head back to the farm. Uh, and uh, and we'll see what time it is once we get back down there. And we've got this reloaded with potatoes. Uh, because it is getting very close to shop opening. We're back at our yard and the shop is open. So, uh, yeah, let's get this filling up with a new set of potatoes. We'll then get this back up the field and get this on a hired worker. Uh, and at the same time, we can get stuff up there. We'll get our other tractors out while this is filling up. And get this, uh, get everything going on follow me. So, uh, refill this. We want to do it with potatoes. There we go. 500 so it's cost us a thousand euros to get this whole thing running uh we're gonna put a weight on the front of our little tractor here as we've got one kicking around so let's load that up there we go and lift it and we'll get this following so we're gonna put this on the tether it's uh, it doesn't take a huge amount of horsepower to run the tether so uh, that will run this very well. There we are. And then we've got our front fabric over here as well. Uh, and we can uh, then use this, probably use this on the wind rower or something like that. Uh, just to get it up. And then it would be good actually if we could get, uh, it would be very nice if we could get the Vultra back. Uh, but I think we're going to have to set this going on the um going uh on a hide worker just to finish the potatoes off uh and and we'll see where we go from there uh but uh certainly i think after the first field uh we'll be able to use this tractor uh to to get some stuff done and uh and, and get everything running very smoothly uh we'll certainly be able to do some follow me with uh blocking uh with uh, other stuff now, what's going on? This here needs to up its speed. We 
We're coming up to the junction at the moment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this just a little bit around the corner. Uh, there, like that. Uh, because we want to get these two tractors. Uh, so that'll follow me. Get these two tractors down to the shop. Where uh, they'll be ready for us in a minute. For us to start on uh, at least the first of our hay jobs. So around here. There we go. We took the smallest hay job with the uh, equipment. Uh, so that we would uh, we'd pay the minimum amount we could. So we'll drop the other tractor off. Follow me. We will run the tether, as I said, with this. Which should go very smoothly. There we go. And our pickup equipment actually is slightly annoying. Um, it's uh, We can only grab four bales at a time. Because, as I said, we did take the small field. So, uh, yeah, that is a little bit of a problem. But it's not the end of the world. Uh, and then we're going to connect this up to this. Like so. There. So, yeah, when it comes to the bigger fields, we are going to find ourselves uh, having to use... Uh, it take a little bit while, a little while to get that uh, stuff collected up. Although, having said that, we should still be all right, I think. So that there, like that. That there, like that. And we are heading back to this, and we're going to go and get this started up on the field. Back up at field nine, and here's our... Now, we were midway through... Yeah, we weren't far off the end, actually, looking at this. So let's get out of here and get this in a position. Uh, not a huge amount of field left to do. So we're just going to put that there, plonk it down, and hit the higher button. We're going to turn that off because we left it in reverse. And hit the higher button. There we go. So we'll leave this, finishing this off. Uh, it should be quite useful to us in a minute when we're done. And we're going to head back here to this. So, our fields for our contracts. Uh, we've got 54, uh, 54, 25, 21, and 45. So, 54, 21, 24, and 45. Let's look. So, 45 is going to be down the bottom. 43, 44... 45 is there, uh, right at the top of the mountain. We kind of want to work our way back, I think. So we need to check our fields here. So we've got field 54, 25, 21, and 45. Now, I think 21 and 25 are going to be the closest we have to here. In fact, yeah, 21 is there. Uh, 25 is there. So 21, 25... Uh, 21, 25, 54 and 45. 45 is over there. 54 is there. So I think we want to go 21, 25, 54 and 45 and work our way around like that. So we'll start off at field 21. Uh, let's hook up our mower. So hook up our front mower. Now I don't know how well this mower setup would work with uh, course play i'm a little bit concerned about that um this is actually the biggest tractor we have kicking around it's uh it's quite a good tractor to have on here there we go so uh yeah it'd be uh, it'd be a nice tractor if it was ours it isn't of course um but we are going to be doing lots of jobs with it so let's uh hook up our front as well that up, hook our cables up. Uh, we are all lined up there. So we want this, then tether, then uh, then our rower. This is going to be an interesting setup because we want it to follow as directly behind as possible. But I don't know how successful that is going to be. Let's get this into forwards. Put it in between these two. And we're going to have to position things as we go, I think. And if we can get this first field done today, that would be good. Right, 
There we are. Now this, I think we're going to have to back off our little tractor a little bit. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take that up to 35 and hopefully that will work nicely. Now we're going to have to, the other thing we're going to have to do is probably keep the baler, the mower to the same side while we're cutting around the field. Um, this is a huge mower. Let's get our, uh, our warning lights on. Um, because otherwise I think we're going to run into issues uh, with things. Now we've got our other tractor blocked. Why are you blocked? Okay, we will uh, we will take the follow me offer. This fed seems to have issues. There we go. I think we had this in reverse again. So we'll get this out. Seems to be having a lot of fun pulling this. I'm guessing we need. Yeah, there we go. We had to connect up the cables, so the brakes were still active, and that was giving us all sorts of problems. But there we go. That is all done. So, uh, follow that. Is that having an offset? That doesn't have an offset, so that's all good. Back in our front tractor, and away we go. Now, we do need to get an offset, uh, as I was saying, on our Deutz. Uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be offset to the side on this. Field 21 is up here. Uh, we will come in this way here, I think. That should be fine. Now, can we see where the field is? Yeah, there's the field edge. So... I am going to see if we can fold out our mowers. Let's unfold that one, switch, and unfold the other one. Now, do we have, we do have directional control, fantastic. Uh, so that will then come in there like so. Bring this up. Now, I want to get this reversed into the right position. And then we'll bring things in as we go. So, turn on the front mower. Uh, whoa. Don't you dare. And down. Switch over to the back mower. Turn it on. And uh, that already is down. Fantastic. Right. So, there we go. So, that's all lined up. Our next thing is, uh, is we're going to position this one. So, we'll take the follow me off this. We'll also take the follow me off the one behind. We will unfold our tool here. And we know that we need a certain amount of offset. So, control F. Get this right. right. I think we want about a three meter offset. So, follow and... That should do it. Turn on the equipment, which have we attached the I don't nope, we haven't attached the PTO. There we go. So turn that on. Oh, we have cables as well. Do we? I think we do. Must have. Right, let's try that. Ah, we're on follow me. So take that off. Turn it on, drop it down, control F, and we'll just pull this forward a little bit, see how this is lined up. Right. So that is too far over. We want to move it to about two meters. There we go. So that now is absolutely perfectly lined up. Uh, excellent start. Now the other one can go directly behind. Is what we can do with this. So we'll start this up. We will fold this out. Uh, and position this right where we want it. In the middle. 
Uh, as I said, it just follows directly behind the other one. And, uh, and yeah, it should mean that we can just do this really well. So down that goes. I think it works. Yeah, you don't need to turn it on. It just collects it up. Uh, and then follow. And there we go. That is our fully working setup for uh, doing this contract. And it should just mean that we're uh, we're able to line this up fairly quickly. Uh, and all we need to do is uh, is go on, turn this, yeah. And once that's cleared, we can put that down again, and away we go. Whoa. Now that has not put those down, annoyingly. So we're going to have to come back and redo this row. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to lift both at once. You can press Control N and it will lift both. So I just need to make sure that when I'm doing it, or Control V, sorry, that it does actually lift both. Now we need to get around this tree. There we go. So bring that down. Bring that down. Try not to clip our other equipment. No, that is. We're going to have to. Oh, this is when it gets difficult. There we go. Right, we are away. So now I want to move at speed, because what I want to do is I want to be far enough clear that all of this is not an issue. Uh, that we're able to just keep going with it and uh, and turn easily. Down we go. Like that. It's easier to line up this front bit than it is the back. And it's ever so slightly wider on that bit as well. Which is why I want to try and get a decent amount of distance uh, ahead. Uh, because if I can do that, that will work a w absolute wonders for us. I think we might have to go and do some extra work on this in a bit. And maybe just do a slightly wider setup on all of this. Just trying to keep clear of that. But that works. This is working an absolute treat. Uh, we are very, very nicely ahead there. There we go. And again, and down we go. Bring it in. And this is a slightly differently shaped field. But this will all be ready for baling later. So we will get this uh, we will get this all baled. Um, uh, and then hopefully we'll be able to take four vehicles on the next one. Uh, and get the baling up behind. And we may have to hire. I think it might be worth, especially with the amount of money we're getting off this. Hiring a, uh, a bale stacker just so that we can uh, clear this off or even buying a little one because it wouldn't harm us to buy a little bale stacker So we're almost at the end of the field now we did a little bit of an interesting bit at the end uh, Just to try and uh, ease things a little bit. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is uh, We're gonna lift as we come out of the field here uh, and then bring that in. Uh, so we can park this on the road. And uh, and that means that we should get everything else lined up. Uh, but that is quite good. I'm really quite pleased with that. We're going to turn off our front one. Let's turn off our front mower as well. There we go. That makes things easier. Uh, and while it's uh, made a little bit of messy uh, piles in a few places... Uh, it does allow us to sort out these last couple of problems. Our Vultra has also finished up 
on the other field. So that's all good. Uh, yeah, we do have a couple of crashes and things like this. So I'm going to turn this off. There we go. Hopefully, no, that's not quite going to work. So reverse this. Bring this right round. Hopefully, our uh, phone will be able to follow this. There we go. And away we go. Yeah, the fence has just turned. Uh, even though we gave it a really convoluted track to follow there. It has just turned and is bringing that in. Uh, and that should mean we get enough bales off this field. We don't have a huge amount that we've missed. And then fold this up. And that is that job finished. Which means that next time we will be going on to the next job. Uh, which, as we've seen, is a little bit closer to home. Uh, so we can set that to follow. We can set this to follow. But we want to reset our offset for it. So let's reset that. We actually need to, we've just mucked up the one for that. But that is all done. So uh, we've reset all of those. Turn that off. Turn this off. Like so. And turn our last one off. Perfect. So that is our haymaking team. We've really done a fantastic job there of getting that field done. Uh, we'll get that all bailed up. Uh, we also have our spuds done on this field here. Uh, I'm not quite going to complete this contract because, as I said, we really want to use this Vultra. Um, but, yeah, so huge amount of stuff done today. Really pleased with where we are. Uh, we're going to end this here. Uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.